So we left off talking about crashing your cycle and how to tell if it's crashed and what to do. Well, to start off, the most important thing, you need to buy a water test kit. Anyone who has fish should have a water test kit. And once you have your test kit, the biggest thing that will indicate your cycle is crashing is a big spike in ammonia, a spike in nitrites, and a nitrate level that will be close to zero. All of these things may not happen all at once, but they will happen eventually. And what do these spikes tell you exactly? Well, the spikes in ammonia and nitrites actually indicate that there is not enough beneficial bacteria in the tank that will break down the harmful waste into less harmful nitrate. And if you follow along with the nitrogen cycle, you'll notice that more ammonia will be happening, less nitrites will be happening, less nitrates. And it'll just be all toxic ammonia, if it gets that bad. So now we get into the question, what do you do if you have a spike in nitrites or ammonia? Well, to start off, you have to act right away because your fish will start off dying very fast. Ammonia and nitrate levels are supposed to be as close to zero as possible, so anything above that is really, really dangerous. So the first thing I do when this happens is I purchase some beneficial bacteria from an aquarium store. After that, I do a 20% water change to get some of these toxins out, then add some of the store-bought bacteria. After that, I test water levels every single day. I repeat this cycle until water parameters normalize again. The result is decreased ammonia and nitrates, slowly increasing nitrates, which can be water changed out. 